So guys, just quick and easy undervolted tutorial for your RTX 2080 in case you want to get more performance, less temperature, make the PC draw less power and actually fix the coil wine and a lot of the noise and fan issues with those cars. That's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial. We're going to be using Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. They're going to be both linked down below in the description. And um, I'm only asking for one thing, okay? If you watch the video until the end, if the, if the video is helpful, in the end, drop a like and a sub to support the channel so I can keep making those videos. I'm trying to cover every single CPU and GPU in existence. So don't want to waste your time. Let's go. Let's tweak this card. Okay, so here we are. Now you want to have a Heaven Benchmark running in the background in windowed mode and then you want to pull up MSI Afterburner. Now you want to go into settings, enable voltage control, enable voltage monitoring, hit apply and then hit OK right here. Okay, now at this point we want to do the actual undervolt. So you pull up the curve editor right there. You go in the core clock, you go minus 250. You go here, grab the 900 millivolt voltage point, you bring it all the way up to 1900, actually a bit less than 1900, so in this case, 1895 is perfect, okay, 1895. Then you hit apply, then you save your profile, hit okay, and we're done. So if you want to just undervolt your card, you can actually close the tutorial already, because this is it. However, if you want to stay, I'm going to give you a couple extra tips and make your undervolt better. So, since we are now running at a constant voltage and since the power limit, well, the power drawn is the product of the current times the voltage and the voltage is constant, the current is dependent on the load, we can assume that we are not going to go over the power limit, actually. However, we do not want to have hard cuts on our cars. We want to just unlock the power limit and temp limit to make sure, even though we're not actually going to hit it, but we want to unlock it. Okay, so this is the first thing you want to do. Then, if you want to get a bit extra performance, again, this is not part of the undervolt, it's just, uh, you know, gaining back some free performance, you can do a slight memory clock overclock. Most 2080s will do plus 500. But if you want to be like really 1000% safe, you can just give it 300, be fine. Uh, so I recommend you do 300 if you want to just copy my settings. So if you want to just copy them, just do this. Then again, save your profile, make afterburner, start with windows, go into settings, say start with windows, start minimize, hit apply, hit ok, and you can just close tutorial, drop a like and a follow and you're fine. Now in case you want to stay, again, a few extra tips. So we can also do a bit different voltage points. So if we go lower with the voltage, we can get uh, even less temperature, even less power consumption, etc, etc. And uh, if that's what we want to do, we basically go and hit the reset and then we do a different voltage point. So we go minus 250 right here. And then, for example, if you want to do the 800 millivolt voltage point, we just bring it up to 1700. Okay, maybe just a bit less than 1700 right there. Hit apply. And now our card is going to run even cooler. We can see it just in real time from the temperature as well, even though it's not a good indicator unless we are under full load. But we, you, you can just see it. And then, of course, you can just unlock the power limit, give it plus 300 just uh, for extra performance and be absolutely fine. Just save this profile as well and be happy. Now, I'm going to give you just a few extra numbers in case you want to play around with it. So the maximum you can do usually in undervolting condition is 2000 megahertz. Now for 2000, you're going to need 950 millivolt on average. And uh, the lowest you can go usually is 750 to 775. And for that, you're going to be able to do around 1650. Okay, so just three numbers for you guys. And uh, yeah, also remember, you need to test this in games and if it's not stable, just lower your core clock by like 20 or 30 megahertz and it will be stable because my ranges are pretty nice. But again, 900 and 1900 is the sweet spot for most 2080s out there. So again, if the video was helpful, drop a like and a sub. I have many more tutorials for CPUs and GPUs as well. They're all on the channel. I also do PC builds, so maybe check them out and I hope to see you guys again in the future. And have a very nice day. Bye bye.